Hi friends. I hope you are doing really, really well today. My brain is telling me to talk about anything else but this particular topic. Yeah, it's basically about the time before I went to Umrah. This is a very sensitive topic to me because because it's something that I have not told to my husband, to my mom, to my siblings, to my kids. I haven't shared it even with my friends. And it's a topic that makes me so emotional. And I want to talk about this topic in hopes that it will help someone who's feeling the way I felt a few months back. So just a little bit of background. In April of, just in April of 2024 this year, my husband and I, we've decided to take our entire family to Saudi Arabia to make, to make pilgrimage, to make Umrah. And you know, Umrah is supposed to be exciting and full of hope. And even though I wanted to feel all of those things, it is unfortunate for me to tell you that I felt the opposite. I felt the opposite before I went to Umrah. I felt like I didn't deserve to go to Umrah. I felt... I felt like I didn't qualify. That I didn't meet all of the requirements of someone that was supposed to make Umrah. I felt that I was undeserving to, go, to make Umrah. And I don't know why I felt this way, but I felt this way. I felt I, I felt unqualified. I felt unworthy to go to Umrah. I remember my husband talking about, you know, talking about taking me to Umrah and how excited he was. And I remember us, you know, packing for packing to packing for our trip. I remember me actually getting ready for our entire trip. We started, um, we booked a ticket to, we booked a ticket from Oregon to Kenya. And then we would stay in Kenya for a while. And then after that, we would go from Kenya to Saudi Arabia to make Umrah. And that's what we did. We booked our flights. Flights were booked. And it's so crazy. It's so crazy how flights were booked. But still, I felt like I would never make it to Umrah. I felt like I felt undeserving of Umrah. I felt I was not qualified. I was unworthy to go to Umrah. I felt that something would happen to the plane that I and I would never make it to Umrah. I felt like my my ticket would be the only one that would be cancelled. That's how I felt. I felt that <laughs> I felt I would lose my things and not make it to Umrah. It's it's so interesting how it's so interesting how that we booked a ticket for the entire family. And not once did I ever think that my husband or even my kids were unworthy to go. I 100% believed that my family would make it to Umrah. I 100% believed that. But I thought I would be the one delayed. I felt like, I just thought, like, I mean, I don't know. I felt, you know... There was a part of me that felt like I was invited to Umrah, but there was also a part of me that felt unworthy to be invited. I really hope I'm making I'm making sense. I hope that 
uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else has felt this way before. But that's how I felt. And it was so painful. It was really, really painful because I, to this day, like, I felt, I feel the pain of the time that I've wasted before going to Umrah. The energy, my energy level that I've wasted before going to Umrah. I wish that I had fully, fully, fully prepared before I went to Umrah. Because it was the most rewarding gift that God has ever given me. Alhamdulillah. I, if I tell you a few different scenarios, you know, when I was packing to Kenya and I, and I was packing all of our stuff for that trip, I did not feel like I was undeserving or unworthy of anything. I felt like I was going to make it to Kenya. Like nothing was going to stop us from making it to Kenya, you know. Except God, you know. Like that that trip from Oregon to from Oregon to Kenya was going to happen. But for some reason my trip to Kenya to Saudi, I honestly didn't think I I did not think I was going to make it. I dragged myself. I dragged myself. I don't know if it was the thoughts of shaitan. I have no idea. But I dragged myself. I felt unworthy. I didn't even pack the way I I should have packed. The way I've seen people in Mecca pack. I did not pack like that at all. I packed so simple which I, right now, I still do not regret the way I packed, but I packed super, super simple. I mean, eventually, once we got to Saudi Arabia, I did end up figuring things out, and I went out for shopping and everything. But, yeah, I did not I did not pack the way I wanted to pack, because I didn't think I would make it to Amra. You know, I... I drag park I, I I drag packed my clothes and I you know I felt like I was dragging <laughs> making it to the airport as well but alhamdulillah everything everything from my trip to Saudi was so so smooth it was so surreal it was so, so surreal, to be honest with you. Everything was went so smoothly. I mean, our hotel was aff- affordable. The ticket was affordable. The ticket, the transition, everything was went so, so smooth. And Allah kept showing me bits by bits by bits that I was worthy. That I was worthy. Right now, what makes me so sad is how unworthy I felt. What makes me so sad is the fact that I felt unqualified to go to Umrah. I felt I felt unqualified to make the holy pilgrimage. And that is so, so sad. Because Allah, Allah is merciful to all. Alhamdulillah, you know, the first time that everything was just whoosh, lifted away from me, the entire weight dropped. The first time my entire weight, the unqualification, the unworthiness, all of that whooshed away. Like it in a split second was the moment I land in Saudi Arabia and the gates of Jeddah opened. The moment I land in Jeddah, I was like, oh my God, Esterlene, you've wasted so much time 
thinking and sulking and making yourself unworthy and unqualified for the most beautiful holy trip and I I don't know I I, I couldn't hold my tears back I couldn't I couldn't stop myself from the excitement of seeing the Kaaba that same day I, I couldn't the moment I landed in Jeddah the energy that whooshed inside me that came inside me was unbelievable unbelievable like to this day I cannot explain that feeling being in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, I felt light. I felt light. I felt... Oh. I felt like the world's entire burden was lifted from me. The, the, sh the weight on my shoulders were gone. It was absolutely gone. And to question my worth at that time was laughable. It was really laughable. <sighs> Umrah was such a beautiful experience. What's a, such a beautiful experience? And I hope that God can give me the same chance. I hope Allah can give me the same chance. I hope that Allah will give you the same chance. I hope Allah will give all Muslims the same chance. And anybody who wants to revert back to Islam. Because Mecca is beautiful. Mecca was absolutely beautiful. Making tawaf was incredible. The surge of energy was absolutely remarkable. The confidence my kids felt was unbelievable, unimaginable. My daughter says, something my daughter always says right now, is that, Mommy, I want to live in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. And I ask her why. And she says, because I don't need a reminder to pray. Because everywhere you see in Mecca, there's a reminder. Salat is performed everywhere. Everywhere. And it is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Seeing people pull their elders, their family members who are disabled carry their children and their babies absolutely remarkable seeing the amount of faith that exists within people seeing the nur within people's faces I mean it's so amazing <sighs> Umrah was incredible so my friend Here's what I have to tell you. Please. If you are feeling unworthy, unqualified. Please do not. If you are feeling that way. Before you make your Umrah trip. Please don't. Because you are worthy. I am here to tell you now. That you are worthy. You are worthy to go to Umrah. You are qualified, more than qualified to go to Umrah. So if you have to cut that ticket, cut it. Because you will never get another experience like that in your life. Don't drag your feet. Don't drag your feet to get to Umrah. Go. Go to Umrah. Do not drag your feet. So, my final thoughts are, you are worthy, you are, you do qualify to go to Umrah. 
You are worthy, my friend. You are so worth that trip. You're worth it. All you have to do is take the step. Inshallah. I hope that if you do make the decision to go to Umrah, that your Umrah is accepted. I hope that everyone who's watching this gets to experience it. Gets to experience going to Umrah, inshallah. Anyway, Assalamu alaikum. If you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, Assalamu alaikum. Until tomorrow. Inshallah.